Hi everyone. Let's see how to create a new section from scratch and also take a look at some of the cool features offered by the page editor. After that, we'll see the steps involved with adding our new section to the navigation menu. Our first step is to go in and to get signed in. Remember, if you're using a PC to get signed in, you'll want to double click the control key on your keyboard. Whereas if you're using a Mac, Instead, what you want to do is you'll want to go in and double click the command key. So we do this, and we'll see the login window appear right at the center of the screen. And once we've signed in, we'll have the toolbar right at the bottom of the browser window. Let's say, as an example, we want to create a brand new About Us section for Green Tech High. Our first step to create our new section is to go in and go over to the menu button and then head over here to sections. We have all these options to choose from. It is important to note that most of these categories, they all work the same with the exception of maintenance. Now in this case, I'm gonna go in and add our about us section under extra section. So I click on this. I then go in and click Add Section, and I start this off just by going in and typing in the title. Then I go in and click Save. Now we're ready to work on our new section. I have found the easiest way to navigate to our new section is to go back over to the menu button, go back to Sections, and then the category that we went in and we added this to. and I see our About Us section right here at the top. Now that we've created our section, we need to add a page. That way we can go in and we can add content. And in this case, I wanna go in and use our page editor. So I click Add Page. We have all of these wonderful options. Now the page editor, that's actually our default option, the one here that says Other. So I don't need to change anything, I just need to title the page. So in this case, we'll say it'll be the home page for About Us. From here, I go in and I click Create Page, and right away, we're brought into the page editor. Right now, it doesn't look like there's anything on this page. However, if we take our mouse and we bring it up towards the top of the page, we will see that we have a content block that's ready for us to use. Now I've already written out the content for this page, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and then paste this on here. So I'm just gonna go to where we have this stored. I copy this. Now to paste this on initially, what we wanna go in and do is we go to the existing block, and then from here, we're gonna use our keyboard to paste this in. Remember, if you're using a PC, to paste content in like this, you're gonna to wanna to go in and click Control-V, whereas if you're using a Mac, instead you'll wanna go in and click Command-V. Perfect. Now once we've gone in and done this, we may see there's some changes we wanna make. Remember, if you highlight over the text, that brings up all of your formatting options. One I'd like to add on is a heading. Now headings, they're a great way to make a page like this more accessible. Reason is, they structure the page and that allows screen reading programs to make it easier for their users to navigate a page such as this. So we'll go in and add on a heading. So it could be something as simple as, welcome to Green Tech High. Remember, for headings as a general rule, you'll wanna go in and go in order. So I go in and I highlight over this, and then we go in and switch this over to heading one. So let's say that as an example that we finish this page and we're ready to go in and share this with our school community. Well, from here to make it so that the page itself is live, all I need to do is go in and click save. Now let's say now that it's a few months 
down the line. And we want to add a lot more content to this particular page. But maybe we don't want to have the new version of this page live yet. We don't want the public to see it just yet. We have a great function here that can help. And what that is, is to go in and to duplicate the page. So I go in, I click duplicate. It asks, are you sure you want to duplicate this page? And we go in, we click OK. Now we have two versions of this page. If I go in and I click on where it says version two, this allows us to toggle from version one, which is live. And then from here, we can click on this and then we can go back over to version two. So remember, version two is not something that would be publicly visible. So we'll say that as an example, we want to start by adding a photo to this page. Anytime you want to go in and you want to add a new content block, what you'll want to do is you go over to an existing block and you right click. From here, you select insert above or insert below. In this case, I go in and select insert below and we have all of these neat options. Now to add on any of these blocks, we simply need to go in and we need to go in and click on this. Perfect. Now we're ready to add on our own photo. I go to where this is stored and we got a neat way to add this on. We're going to simply go in and we click, drag, and drop. Now once we do this, we can make adjustments to the photo. So we'll do that. It's going to resize this out a little bit here. Perfect. Now, one change we may want to make is we may want to increase the padding or the spacing between the two blocks. That can be easily done by going in, you take your mouse and you bring this to the top of the lower block. You will always do this with the lower block. And you can go in and bring this down by up to 20 pixels. Perfect. So let's say that as an example, everybody, We've gone in, we've made our changes, we've added lots more content, and we're ready to go in and share this with our school community. Well, our first step, of course, is to go in and to click Save. Now, once we're ready to go in and to publish this version of this particular page, we just go down and click Publish. And it looks like we have a recommendation here. So let's definitely check that out. To do this, I go in, I click show recommendation, and this is a great suggestion. And what that is, is to add alt text to improve accessibility. Alt text makes pages like this more accessible because what they do is it prevents screen reading programs from reading out the file name. So anytime you add a photo like this, you're either gonna wanna go in and add on alternative text or mark it as decorative. So let's go ahead and do that. And in this case, this photo it's a great photo, however, it's not something that is really contributing to the main content on that page. So this would definitely be a case where we would go in and want to mark the photo as decorative. I do this by right-clicking, selecting accessibility, and then selecting image as decorative. After this, I go in and I click apply. Perfect. I save the page. And then once I do that, now I can go in and go over to publish. I click OK, and version two is now the live version of this page. Remember, the benefit of duplicating the page is it allows you to work on a newer version of that page and it allows you to do so without having to go ahead and necessarily publish that. So we'll say that we've gone in, we've worked on our new section here. Now, one thing that's important to note too is that when you do create a new section like this, it is important to note that it's not linked to any of the main navigation on the website. That is an additional step we'll want to go in and we'll want to take. It's important to note too that there's actually two different ways that we can go in and add to navigation. It is important to note though, what specifically the navigation menu module is going to allow you to do directly. 
it's going to allow you to be able to go in to add, edit, and remove links from any of these existing dropdowns. Remember, if you'd like to go in and perhaps rename one of the tabs or add navigation menu buttons, not a problem. For that, you'll want to go in and reach out to our tech support. Now for the navigation menu module, our first step is always to decide where we want this to go. So in this case, I'm going to say that I want this to go just beneath our student expectations. Our first step for this is we go in, we go over to the menu button, and then from here, we go to website admin, and we select navigation menu. So once this window comes up, I want to find where I want this to go. So I see this here, I want this to go just underneath our student expectations. Now we're going to see something really cool. We're going to see just how user friendly this is. Now to go in and to add this on, I start by going in and I click on the arrow. From here, I'll go in, I select either add link above or below, just depending. In this case, what I'll do is I'll select add link below. And we see that we have these options appear here. Now, you may notice that you have these text fields. What's cool here is that there's another way that you can link existing sections and pages as well as modules to the navigation menu. And what that is, is that is the find page function we see here. So let's go in, let's add on our about us section. I click find page. And what that does is it brings up this drop down menu. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through this. I'm going to see if I can find our section. But actually, something that's important to note that sections and pages, although they are here, they're a little bit hidden. To access those, what you'll want to go is you want to go to Departments, and that actually brings up another drop-down menu. I go in, I click on the drop-down, and from here, I find the section that we just created. I see About Us, and from here what happens is I see how it fills in these fields for us, which is cool. I click Save. Of course, though, when you're adding a link, you're always want to go going to want to go in and test this here. So to do this, I click on the test link. I go over to About Us, and we're just making sure that this goes to exactly where we want this to be. It does. So I click out of the test version. And then from here, I go in and I click Apply. Now, if we refresh the screen, we can see that that has been added to the live version of our site. It is important to note that there is a second way that you can link your sections and pages to the navigation menu. Now, to do that, we would just first need to go in and navigate back to our About Us section or to the new section we've created. And from here, what we'll want to go in and do is we're going to want to copy over the URL. It is important to note, though, is we don't want to copy over the entire URL. Essentially, we just want to copy everything from this first forward slash on over. I highlight over this. I copy this. Now I'm ready to go back to the navigation menu. For this, we go over to the main menu button, go back to website admin, we see navigation menu. And then from here, I find where I want this to go. So in this case, I say we want this to go under the bell schedule under academics. What I do next is I go back in, I click on the arrow. I select either add link above or add link below. So we'll go add link below. And then I go in and I paste in the URL. So remember, it's just that last portion of it. So I click Command V or Control V respectively. Then I need to go in and add on the title. So in this case, I'll type in About Us. I click Save. Just as with before, we want to go in and we want to test this. So I click on the test link. 
I go over to academics and I just want to make sure this goes to exactly where we want this to go. It does. Finally, to save that change, all I need to do is go back in and click apply. Just as with before, we go in, we refresh our page, and we can see that we've added a new link to About Us under academics.